the application I'm going to be covering in this tutorial is called the Burp Suite. We'll be doing the free version. Here you can see the website where you can download it and see the features. Obviously a lot of them will be grayed out because we're using the free version. Um, basically we want to use this to help us create a site map which will be manually from clicking around and also using the proxy for a man in the middle attack. And get started. I launched the application. So in this screen, we're just going to do a temporary project. And we'll go down and hit next. We're going to use the defaults. It says start. So now we're brought up with the window. First thing we want to do in the target tab is go to the scope tab and add the website that we're going to be attacking. In this case, it's going to be news.umflint.edu. We'll put that in our host and hit OK. Now we want to go to the proxy tab, turn intercept off for now, go to the options, and you want to verify that the proxy is running on port 8080 on localhost. Now in Firefox, we'll go to the preferences, in the general, scroll to the bottom to get to the network proxy. We'll click on settings. And we want to do a manual proxy configuration. Here mine already has it saved for localhost on port 8080. And I have used proxy server for all protocols checked. Um, doesn't really matter, but good thing to have cover everything. I'll hit OK. Now we'll create open a new tab. Go to news.umflint.edu. Now, since we're using a proxy, SSL is not going to work. So, we can get around this by going to clicking advanced, add exception, confirm security exception. Now, I reload everything. So, right off the bat, we can go back to our target tab and click on site map. You can see we have a whole bunch of requests in here now. And the one that we are interested in is highlighted since it's in our scope. So we're just going to click around a little bit to grab some things to be crawled that are crawled. And as you can see, when I click around, more things pop up on the left. So go down to this one. The more you click around, the more URLs that will find, which could possibly lead to more vulnerabilities to be found. All right, that should be enough now. So we go back over to BERT, and we'll expand news.umflint.edu. And as you can see here, we have a whole bunch of requests and pages that have been found. Um, so we'll click on one of them. We'll probably go into this WP includes. Since this is WordPress, it's normally where things are, plugins and themes are stored. Let's keep digging down until we can find something useful. Here we're going to go into WP content, then do the themes, you can flip now. And here's an interesting file called call.php. We can now click on it. We can on this right side of the panel here, it'll give us detailed information about it. So if we want to look at the response, we can click the response tab and you can see what exactly this file returned. In this case, it looks like it returned a template of some sort. Now that we have a good idea of a sitemap for this website, we're going to try to intercept some traffic and see player on some headers. So we'll go back to the proxy tab. We're going to go back to the intercept. We're going to turn intercept on. Now we're just going to go back to the Firefox and go to the main news that you implement the EDU website. Now this time you see that it's not loading instantly, it's hanging. 
Well, that's because Bert picked it up as an intercept. And you can either forward drop, and you can view the raw. You can edit the raw. You can view the params, headers, and you can edit these headers. Um, so say you want to change this value to zero. You just click in there and change zero, hit enter, and then forward. Now as you can see this page load, but we still have some stuff that are wanting to be intercepted on the left. You can just click forward on all those because those are probably images and other scripts that are loaded on the page. And that's basically how you use Burp to intercept requests and create site maps.